What Mark Hamill just did that resulted in him getting canceled is absolutely appalling, or at least that is what the outrage mob wants us to believe as they are now going after Mark Hamill. They are now eating their own, and this is what we continually talk about, where it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter what you say, as soon as you do one little thing that goes against the agenda, that goes against the narrative, then they will destroy you, and now they are looking to tear down Mark Mark Hamill destroy this person who has been a hero for a lot of the woke agendas out there in pretty much every way that you can think of and now they are going after Mark Hamill and he is of course panicking because of all this he, he's he, he he I can only imagine what he is feeling right now as the outrage culture the outrage mob is coming after him so what is it that that Mark Hamill did that was so terrible well I made a video about this the other day about Bette Midler's tweet and this is what it said women of the world we are being stripped of our rights over our bodies our lives and even our name they don't call us women anymore they call us birthing people or menstruators and even people with vaginas don't let them erase you every human on earth owes you and what was the very, very terrible thing that Mark Hamill did in relation with this tweet from Bette Midler, which is in itself something that, that the, the Wokesers got super duper offended by, super duper upset over, because, well, women aren't really that important anymore in the eyes of the left. They have basically moved on from women. Now that it is the next thing, it is the next wave of intersectionalism that they are focused on. And what was the terrible thing that Mark Hamill did? Mark Hamill, he did the awful, awful thing. The heinous thing of liking this tweet from Bette Midler. And that was all it took to send the Wokesters into full fledged tantrums and meltdowns and everything else as you can see here this is one of them right here so alejandra carabello is very very upset that mark hamill liked this tweet from bet midler <gasps> even if this was an un innocuous like it shows how easily the transphobic propaganda is spread among people and media it's perfectly aimed to ruin the, the moderate and liberal establishment against trans people is what they did in the UK. So, uh, Alejandra is not having a good time. <laughs> Which is hilarious to me. And it continues. It gets even more insane. 1010 10 thread. It shows a bad like. But instead of saying Mark Hamill is a shitbag, it says the far more likely outcome that the pseudo-progressivism probably tricked him and points out how dangerous that is. So, and then we have my boy, Pimp Master Broda, who, uh, you know, um, compiled some of these. So, this is hilarious. Uh, or, he, he retweeted it. And this is what uh, Bessie Braddock has to say. So, now the TRAs are losing their shit because Mark Hamill liked Bette Midler's tweet. And as you can see here, they are having a total meltdown over this. And this is what we continually talk about. Doesn't matter what you say or do. You can try to pander to these people all you want. But as soon as you do one simple little thing, like like a tweet that goes against the, the narrative, then you are an outcast. You will be vilified. And Mark Hamill, who has been a wokester, is now on the chopping block. Mark Hamill, why did you like this tweet? This is a transphobic talking point. <laughs> Um, so Mark Hamill liked Bette Midler's tweet. God's sake. <laughs> Not gonna lie, if this isn't a mistake, I'm a B beyond crushed. So now, so now suddenly Mark Hamill is the bad guy. Pim Master Broda, the man himself, says Star Wars Stan spent all yesterday protecting Mark Hamill when the old articles popped up about him only to have old Marky Mark like Bette Midler's tweets the next day. Now they hate him with a boiling rage. Funny, ain't it? And this is why, this is why we need to stop trying to pander to these people. They are crazy. It doesn't matter what you do. They will come after you. They, they, they hate you. You're, you're always, you're always like an inch away of being hated by these, these insane leftist lunatics. 
So why continue to try to pander to them? They have no interest in actually having conversations or allowing people to have other viewpoints that don't line with theirs. They want to destroy you. They want to destroy you completely and silence you. With that being said, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe. I appreciate that a lot. This is all hilarious to me that now Mark Hamill, the, the golden boy among the Wokesers, is now being eaten alive by his own. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.